Hello together, welcome to my channel. I know I uploaded last time <laughs> a while ago, nearly a half year ago, because it's uh, Corona, I cannot travel, and uh, in Switzerland also many store and stuff has been closed. Um, at the moment is still many stuff is closed. Well, the stores are now open again, but uh, this is the situation, so I stay mainly at home and work and yeah. So um, I bought now the Canon R5 and sadly the Canon original adapter um, is completely sold out, so not a chance. So I bought now a third party, the, the Comlight adapter, because I know this camera is great, but I'm I also am a little bit scared because I have old premium glass. And this is actually the issue. Well, it's not an issue, but will this prime glass will this be okay with the Canon R5 with the with the mount? Will it already perform well with the Comlight adapter or will I just need the original one from the Canon? Um, I think this only future will tell. So, I will now test this um, with this configuration that I have with the R5, with the Comlight adapter and with this Prime Lens 200 to 400 with in internal 1.4. Um, uh, extender. Um, I will see how it performs with this configuration. If this should be bad, I will buy the original one and test it again. Because this will be, to be honest, a catastrophe if this lens will not perform well on, on the new R, R5. But uh, let's find out. Still all original. I didn't use now the new battery. I still use at the moment the old one. Because I just had one charged. I set up um, the date and everything. So I wonder how easy this will go now. The build is not so bad actually. Okay, let's try this. Okay, it's in. So, this has been set up now. I check now quickly if the camera already recognized this, this lens or not. So, the lens is on. I already have made some tests. The focus is actually pretty fast, extremely fast. Let's go with the extender, so it will be not an F4, but higher. Let's see if, if it still m matches. Hmm. If you are a Canon user, uh, then it's not a huge difference. There are some small difference, like comparing to uh, a 5D Mark IV or a 6D Mark, Mark II. But uh, it's quite similar. 
you don't have the dial for the video and the picture you have to select it and then to change it uh, with info but I show you that right in a moment so when you turn on the camera actually you just need to dial the mode the mode button and when you dial this it comes the information you have to press info to go to photography to video let's do this I press the info it's down there and now we are on the video mode uh, automatic if I want to change back again two times mode and then info and now I am again at the picture mode and um, this is uh, at first glance the main difference uh, between older cannons so I had the chance now to test it outside with the bird photography as you know the bird photography on autofocus is very very hard especially when the sun is behind and I was really surprised about the images I will share this with you now to be honest, with the condition of the light that I had, I would never achieve this kind of images with the 7D Mark II that I had, or with the 5D Mark IV. Not a chance. Uh, so um, this camera performed really, really great. So I'm very, very lucky about it. Uh, I think it will be a blast on Safari or wildlife photography. So I hope you like the images. Um, when I look at these images, I'm pretty sure that I would never achieve the same level of details uh, with, with the 7D um, because of the 20 megapixel sensor, um, of course. What you see here is cropped, but still um, looks very decent and it's sharp. Um, to be honest, uh, not every image was peak sharp because it was very far away and the light was not optimal, um, but uh, the camera has done a very, very great job. So I'm looking forward to use this camera in the future and um, I hope you enjoyed this clip and I wish you a very great and safe day. Bye-bye.